Hello guys, this is Jamba Hotel one and and welcome to the, um, I think it's 8th row battle now, I believe I'm not too sure, but anyway, as you can see by the title up there, and I'm borrowing my clothes, and I'm recording this after the next one as well, so as by the title up there, this is going to be Air over at Orton Towers versus Hero over at Flamingo Land. So let's get into battling them coasters. So, so obviously Air is obviously operating in the Forbidden Valley area of the theme park over at Orton Towers. It has been operating since um, the 16th of March 2002. It, uh, it was a cost of around about 12 million pounds. It is a steel flying coaster manufactured again by Bolagada Malabar or B&M. You'll notice that I can't say B&M a lot. Um, the designer was obviously again by John Wardley. A model of a flying coaster and the track layout was custom on this. It has a chain lift hill of around about 20 metres tall, which is around about 66 foot, a length of 840 metres, which is around about 2,760 foot feet of track, a speed of around about 47 miles per hour, with a max, um, which is 75 miles per hour of you in the USA. It has a maximum of two inversions and a duration of 1 minute and 40 seconds. It has a capacity of around about 1,500 riders per hour and a maximum g-force of 3.2 you will get on this and a height restriction of 1.4 which is 4 foot 7 inches. The trains are arranged in 3 trains with 7 cars. Riders are arranged 4 across in a single row for a total of 28 riders per train. Fast track is available and obviously single rider is available. That's air over at Aunt House. Now let's go over to Hero over at Flamingo Land. Obviously, um, Flamingo Land is located in Yorkshire and Hero is located in Flamingo Land. It hasn't got an area, so I can't really say that. It is um, currently operating and has opened in July 2013. It is a Zamperla still flying Volair coaster. It has um, four riders per train. It is a spiral lift hill, this is, so it goes up in a spiral of a height of 50 foot, has a top speed of 25.7 miles per hour, um, and with a length of 1,282.8 feet of track, very precise there, with um, a maximum of two inversions and 3.3 Gs you will get on this. So that is Hero over at Flamingo Land. Now let's get into why, who and why should win. So obviously air, um, <laughs> what can I say about air's tunnel, um, please stop moaning in the famous worlds of John Wardley I think. Um, air is a good coaster, it's good for what used to be, what was a prototype model, in case you didn't know because it was, it is the world's first flying coaster and there's obviously a reason for that. We're not very famous, um, there's a lack of theming around the area but it's a beautifully, um, it's a beautiful off-road coaster. So hero. Uh, what do I say about Hero? <laughs> what is the actually say about Hero? It's an awful coaster. Um, the restraints are terrible. It's basically just like trying to copy what B&M have done with Air. So I'm just going to give it straight to Air over on this one to its battle. Obviously, it, it, there was no comparison on this. So that's basically it for this Roy battle. Air wins full on. If you let me know in the comments if you disagree. Obviously, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video of Battle of the Coasters.